Hello everybody. Welcome to my next uh, unboxing video. And uh, this one is from the MiG 37B Ferret E Stealth Fighter in 148 scale. And this one's uh, from uh, Tallery Testers. It's an old kit. It's from the 90s. I don't recall what year exactly. But uh, yeah, I got this off of eBay for a really nice price. It's like I got it for like 4.75 plus the shipping which came out to like less than 14 bucks. So got a good deal on it. Anyways, here is the back of the box. Uh, some close-up shots of the finished model. There we go. I wish the companies nowadays would do what testers did back in the day with putting the back of the box some uh, detail shots like this instead of just like on the side of the box and if that oh yeah these here are some pictures of the model finished up some info on it so you guys can read that Side view. I don't like the stands of this plane though. The back is too low. I'll see if I can uh, fix it up and raise it up a little bit. Color is needed for the model. And there's two versions of this a winter scheme and the regular black color scheme. There's a nice front picture of the MIG. I like that stands. Huh? Front profile looks pretty menacing. <laughs> Gives you a short history of how they came up to making this kit, I guess. Here we have the trees map. Not too many parts in this kit. I mean, it is pretty old. Detail is basic. So it's just screaming for detail, scratch building. The panel lining is raised. And here we have the sub assembly of the cockpit interior. There we go. I like the instructions. Gives you some tips, some historical notes, and the color key for each page and what you need to paint the parts with. Okay. Every page has a color key, so that's a nice touch. So, I'm doing this video outside because it was such a nice day that why do it inside? Natural light. So there's another assembly. You can have the cockpit open or closed. And this is also a reconnaissance version, I guess. So you can see by the nose, there's a like a glass piece that goes there. Just some guy passing by a car on his phone. <laughs> okay, here's a black version. What you see in the box art. Or the box cover. Yep. And then the winter the winter scheme. Which you're gonna be using gold gray, flat white, and dark green. So there you go. Nuclear bombs, weapons. I have this one when I was a kid. I'm tempted to get it again. See if I can find a good deal though. One thing I don't like about this one is a cockpit canopy. Probably change that. Okay, so that's the instructions. Let's go on to decals. 
got two versions of course the regular one and the winter scheme lots and lots of markings let's see how the decals hold on so many years right now sorry about that it's kind of windy okay let me just fix this up a little bit here sorry 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 I'm using my hand, so that's why I have to like move it a lot. Just get these parts out of the bag. So let me separate these a little bit. All right, here we got the rear exhaust piece. Let me see if we can see some. More. And yeah, some basic diesel on there, mesh type. Not bad, not bad. We got a lot of a uh, flash though on the ends here. But nothing, no big deal. Okay, the canopies were loose already. So I'm gonna have to sand those out. You can see right there. I'm do some minor work on it. Should take care of that easily. Here's the front screen. Again, it's just basic. So, you know, you wanna put some interior scratch building detail. With it, enhance the detail of the cockpit. Top airframe piece half raised detail. That's in detail engraving there. For the exhaust air brake detail, basic. You know, not too many panel lining. Just what you see there. Parts for the exhaust, I believe, in the back. And we got the wings. Again, raised panel lining, and not too much. cover gotta cut it open I guess cut it in half to display it open you have the bottom half of the airframe basic detail on the wheel wells and for the internal bomb rack payload Front landing gear bay, basic detail. Oh, come on, focus. Can you focus? You're not too close. So you can see that there. Vents for the engines. There we go. Okay, that's where the glass for the cameras would go in the front. Again, basic, but it, you know, it's passable for the, considering that this is just a make-believe aircraft, or what could have been. Here we have the stabilizers, ailerons, 
and you can see that's going to have to be sanded down imperfections from the molding and that's on both of them both sides too but that's easily fixed it's not too bad just some light sanding should do the trick okay moving right along yeah here we have the glass for the camera for the front of the aircraft might have to do something different with that i'm not i'm not sure yet head up display and gear wheel covers for the cockpit for the tail I bet I think for the front part. Oh no, here we go. No, that's where the seat goes and stuff. Basic detail. I mean what are you gonna do when you don't actually have something to go by, right? Still though, I'm gonna have to get some aftermarket parts just to beef it up. Mm. That's definitely gonna be changed. <laughs> The instrument panel is definitely have to do something about that. Oh, come on, focus. Can you focus? I guess not. Come on. Really? See if we can get it. There we go. So yeah, that's like too basic. And that's pretty much it for this thing. I mean, I got this for a real bargain. I have to say, normally on eBay they want like upwards from thirty to forty bucks. Come on now. I really don't understand the concept with, you know, putting a big price on old kits just because they're collected. If you're going to get the kit, you're getting it because you want to put it together, not to collect it. At least that's what I think. So, putting a high price on an item like this, but luckily with this vendor, I got it at a party. So, kudos to him for doing that. So... Hope you enjoyed this video. Helps you out if you decide to get this bird. If you can find a good price on it on eBay or elsewhere. But uh, yeah. Till next time. See you guys around.